I got another question. Dear brothers, I'm making a career change by leaving the safety net of corporate auto insurance to instead own and operate a gaming store, board games, card games, and role-playing games. The store has a solid customer base, but recently competition has been spawning, and that worries me. How do I differentiate my brand so my Pokemon will bring all the nerds to the yard? That's from Dungeon Master Dan in Iowa Land. Dungeon Master Griffin? Dan. Why, why me? Just because he mentioned Pachamon spe- specifically doesn't mean that Griffin... How many of us have like ever sh- played in a Pokemon tournament? Me. I oh. came in second hey. place. Out of how many? Like 14. Nice. Yeah. I think you jack your prices up. Okay. Wait, what? Jack them way up. You got to be the most expensive game in town. Um, and that will help, you know, it'll 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 help cut down on your losses thanks to this competition. And it'll also make your shit seem like a premium product. Maybe mm-hmm. if you spend an extra dollar fifty on a Pokemon expansion pack, you're going to get the 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 hollow foil magneton in there that you've always wanted. Your your heart's true desire. That's that's what I'm saying. It, there, it's a mental connection. I'm I'm on some Malcolm Gladwell Pokemon trading card game shit right now. Where if people spend more money on mm-hmm. their Poke packs, they think in their brain I should spend more money on this, and there's a better chance that I'm going to get a Mewtwo. But there's not, right? There's not a fucking of course not. But it's 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 all Poke psychology. Maybe you could make your store a little bit more inviting. Like maybe make it feel like an event every time people go. Mm-hmm. Maybe have a couch there where people could watch TV or movies together. So you're talking about a, a couch where people can watch TV and movies together. Yeah. There's a store that just opened here in Huntington called Rare Drops that's supposed to be a <gasps> retro gaming store. And I walked in, and there's just people sitting on a couch watching TV. And I couldn't figure out how to buy things there, but it seemed like a pretty chill store. <laughs> Did you walk into someone's house? <laughs> this like no. my house. Hey, this like my house, but you sell Pokemon. I'm into I'm, it. I'm into it. They also had balls. So what do you mean? The, like, like a the ball drink pit? Balls, balls. Oh, oh, balls. Balls to the drink. Balls. You, you can make it like any gaming store I've ever walked into that seemed to be popular. And while you stand behind the counter, chat with somebody about some really specific game that I've never heard of, and don't make eye contact with me. So I have to wait really awkwardly to find out where the really <laughs> weird thing I want is. Yeah. So if you, yeah, if you could do better than that, you're already ahead of the pack. I think maybe uh, have it if you set up a table with four chairs around it and just say like, listen, this is free to whoever wants it. It's there. You're gonna get a crew together. It's like a this you know you know. And the they're gonna plan legend, a heist. You know the old legend of the Cracker Barrel where people would gather. They put a chessboard on the Cracker Barrel and they'd sit at the Cracker Store and mm-hmm. they uh, every once in a while knock over the board to get some crackers out of the barrel. <laughs> you know how that goes. Uh-huh. Like maybe you need your own modern version of the Cracker Barrel, but it's like a card table where people could just play. Um, Uno or any other board games that are popular right now. What the fuck have you been talking about? <laughs> I just you, you know, people... Griffin. You know how people would gather people... around the Cracker Barrel, <laughs> and there were crackers in the barrel. That's not a great play. You're gonna have some staleness issues. You have to carefully lift up the board so Steve can get a cracker like every five minutes. Can I get a cracker? Guy. Can I get a <laughs> yeah. cracker, please? I, we just fucking started. We just fucking started this game of checkers. <laughs> We're both super good, so it's gonna go. Please, just one cracker. I'm real. I'm eating some chili over here. I need something to dunk a roo. <laughs> just one cracker. Come on, guys. But it's it's never just one cracker. It's never just one fucking cracker with you, Steve. <laughs> Old Steve Three Crackers, they call him. It's the only cracker store in town. Come on. <laughs> don't be, I don't have to drive to Texarkana to get my cracker fix, please. You can play. You can set up another game of checkers. Like- <laughs> all right, Steve. We're gonna pick up the board. You get all the crackers you want now. All right. We don't want to have to lift it up again. Okay. Let me just get. Oh, guys, I ate it a all, but I still want some. Steve, we specifically said get all the crackers. Oh. Uh, okay. We're gonna do it you- one more time. One more time, Steve. <laughs> Why don't you just have two barrels? And one, two, <laughs> what do you think we are, the Rockefellers, Steve? You could play your game like on the porch. Just set it down on the porch floor. Maybe there's if we there. had some kind of giant carpet rug <laughs> chessboard, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, let me knit one of those up for you, <laughs> Cracker Barrel LLC. Get there. Get there for Pancake Sunday Fun Day. 
You know what? You know, this is this is here's my God's honest answer because we've been playing D and D for for the Adventure Zone, our new hit podcast, and and I've gotten a lot of like tweets from people saying like, can we how like how easy is it for us to play? D and D, and it's not just that. Like whenever we write on on Polygon about like a local uh, gaming experience, be it like a board game or a, a local video game, uh, people always say like this looks fun, but I don't have anybody to play it with. I still feel like there's there's shit like meet up and you know all that stuff, but I feel like if you can come up with some way of uh, getting getting like people together, like some sort of uh, like dating service, but platonic uh katan matchups uh i i really do feel like that's like something that i'm sure that i'm sure there's absolutely like lots of solutions for that i know that uh dragon's lair my local uh uh friendly neighborhood game store does that but uh i i don't know i just feel like there's still it that's still something waiting to be mastered and if you can crack that code like fuck yeah i would get down on that how about Maybe, every saturday you, like you demo oh. a new game right and then you offer a discount on that game during the demo so it's like we're gonna break gonna out that, the bioshock Josh, that's a great idea thank you I, and it's you a great could, idea like, you too and Justin. teach people how to play a game like have somebody who actually knows the game and then have them teach other people and then those people could have like groups and you could just have like a day where people play that thing. Maybe, yeah. maybe a clinic is the first hour and then the rest of the day is just like get a game together and play it. Cause that's always the, like for me, like opening up a new game, you spend the first 45 minutes saying like, oh wait, hold on, I think we're supposed to, okay, yeah, great. So just to have a dude there who's played it already before and figure that out, who says like, okay, yeah, if you wanna do that, you gotta do this. And then, you know, you have like a popcorn machine or something and you let people go to town and make it a thing. Also, I don't want to be mean, but if you could make your store the best smelling game store in town. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool. And I'm not just talking about like B.O. or whatever, because the the one I used to go to in uh, Cincinnati was very clean, but it also smelled like really strong cleaning products all the time. I, I would go in there for, like a, for it. You know what's going to yeah. fix that, Griffin? Popcorn some, some, machine. Popcorn machine, maybe. I mean, uh, yeah, well, because you could get the B.O. popcorn smell, and then it's just going to sound like you're at like a stinky regatta, and you don't want a, you don't want a stinky regatta smell. You just, pl- just fucking Febreze it. Neutralize the smell. I want you it know, to smell like nothing. Travis was kidding about this, but you could honestly, like in so many specialty stores that I've been to in my life, you could make a huge leap forward just like being personable and like welcoming people when they come into the store and like acting yeah. like you actually want them to spend money there. Like I'm 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 not even joking. It's a, it's a, it's a pervasive issue. Make people feel welcome and don't eyeball them like you think they're going to steal every time somebody walks into the store. That for yeah, me is like oh well. every time I walk in I'm like I'm a pretty mm-hmm. average looking dude. And I get eyeballed every time I walk into And anywhere. if you're worried about that, only sell huge board games. Nobody's ever shoplifted a copy of Lords of Waterdeep because that thing is the size of a fucking, like, coffin. It's like shoplifting a coffin. You can't do it. Do you guys want a Yahoo? Oh, yeah, can't I? I Challenge accepted. <laughs> By the way, Travis, just not to, like, cause drama or, like, <clears throat> derail, you look like, if anyone has ever looked like a fucking brigand, it's you. Fair enough. Like, not like a skeezy thief, but like a kind of cool Douglas Charming Fairbanks like a, yeah, thief. Yeah, like sure. Do you guys think I could pull off like a roguish scar across my eye? I think you, yeah, I think you absolutely should get out there, Trav, and I think you, you should start living hard, and I think you should get cut. Thank you, um, Griffin. If you keep eating the way you're eating, you're going to get a roguish scar across where your heart is because of the stent. So I have been be eating a- so much better. It's 2015. I have been eating vegetables. I have been eating more vegetables, and I've been eating even more vegetables. You don't need to make a production out of it. 